All right, so I get it. A lot of people are intimidated to make a whole roast chicken, but I have got a foolproof recipe, so follow along. We're gonna start by quartering this orange. Then I'm gonna pick off a few sage leaves. So all these pieces go inside the chicken. That's gonna flavor it from the inside out. Let's go sage wrapped around an orange, just for ease. Let's get it in my roasting dish. Now she just needs to be covered in olive oil, salt and pepper. We're gonna give her a nice little massage and then she's going in the oven. So this glaze is the simplest. You're only gonna need four ingredients. We're doing marmalade, ginger, soy sauce, and some chopped fresh sage. So it's actually the sugar in the marmalade that's gonna give it that sticky, crispy exterior. Now I'm going in with some ground ginger, a little bit of soy sauce. The reason I love adding in the sage is that it brings a nice earthiness to the dish. So we're about at our halfway mark and I wanna baste the chicken. That's gonna make sure that the skin is super crispy. Now I'm gonna cover her in the glaze. And then she's got about 15 minutes left in the oven. So the reason I've waited to put on the glaze is because if you put it on too early, the sugar in the marmalade is gonna burn. All right, the chicken is ready. Let's get it on a platter and then I'll show you how to make the gravy. This liquid is what's gonna make our gravy. So to thicken the gravy, we're gonna use a slurry. A slurry is cornstarch and cold water. Now it doesn't add any flavor, but it is gonna thicken. The reason you don't wanna add cornstarch directly in is because it will clump. The cold water allows it to dissolve. And there you have it. So in the time it took me to make the gravy, the chicken has rested for about 20 minutes. And that's it. That is my perfect roast chicken. Perfect for your next family dinner, I hope. Um, if you get a chance to make this recipe, make sure to snap at me. I'm at Feeling Peckish, and I'll see you next time.